My name is Trevor Smith. I'm a professor in the Department of Animal and Poultry Science at the University of Guelph in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And I'm attending the annual Feed Industry Symposium sponsored by Alltech Incorporated in, in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. The focus of our presentation this year was on turkeys, especially the susceptibility of turkeys to feedborne mycotoxins. Our research is concentrated on anti-nutritional factors in the feeds, especially fusarium mycotoxins, which are common in, in temperate climates around the world. In the past, the practice has been to divert highly contaminated grains, or knowingly contaminated grains, from particularly sensitive species such as uh, pigs uh, to poultry feeds. Early research on turkeys indicated that the feeding of fusarium contaminated materials that would include, for instance, the mycotoxin DAWN, also known as vomitoxin, or deoxynovalanol, T2 toxin, that these materials could be fed to turkeys uh, with very little effect on performance. The early studies, though, were largely for short-term duration, maybe three or four weeks, uh, and also utilized artificial circumstances, such as purified toxins, or toxins which had been isolated from contaminated materials. This doesn't really reflect the current feeding situation where we have blends of contaminated materials which might produce more adverse effects in turkeys. In our study, we fed a turkey poults for a 12-week period through its starter, grower, developer, and finisher phase. We fed a control diet which was not contaminated. We fed a diet that did contain contaminated combinations of corn and wheat, and naturally contaminated materials we purchased from local farmers, and then we also included one diet containing a commercial mycotoxin adsorbent in addition to the contaminated grains. Our findings were such that the turkey poults, especially in the starter and grower phase, the first six weeks, were quite sensitive uh, to the presence of feedborne mycotoxins. Major toxin present in our mixture uh, was uh, Dawn or vomitoxin in a range of between two and three parts per million, which we might expect to see under commercial circumstances. When these materials were fed to the poults, we had significant reductions in growth rate, uh, especially in the grower and developer phases. This was paralleled by changes in metabolism of the birds as well. It was clear to us that there was a significant elevation in blood uric acid levels in the turkeys fed the contaminated diets. We'd seen this before in studies with laying hens and broiler chickens. This is the result of the birds utilizing vegetable protein sources such as soybean meal for energy purposes instead of utilizing them for protein synthesis. Perhaps the major economic cost though, arising from feedborne mycotoxins in the poultry, is the effects on immunity and susceptibility to infectious diseases. Our studies indicated that numerous indices of immunity were reduced in turkeys fed the mycotoxin contaminated materials. This means the birds are more susceptible to infectious diseases, uh, resistant to medications, and also could result in the failure of vaccination programs. One of the key organ systems that's influenced in turkeys from feed-borne mycotoxins is the digestive tract, the first line of defense of the bird when these materials are fed. Our studies indicated that looking histologically at the development of the intestinal tract, that in the duodenum and the jejunum, the most proximal portions of the small intestine, especially in the starter and lower phase, there were significant reductions in the surface area of the small intestine responsible for nutrient uptake. Significant reductions in villus height, significant reductions in villus width. This was largely absent in the uh, in the developer and finisher stages in the more mature birds. So our results indicated that it isn't appropriate to feed naturally contaminated blends of grains which contain fusarium mycotoxins to turkeys because of adverse effects on protein utilization, immunity, and development of the gastrointestinal tract. One manner in which these materials can be more successfully fed is with the inclusion of a suitable mycotoxin adsorbent our studies indicated that uh, this could prevent many of the adverse effects of these diets on turkeys. Thank you very much.